Okay guys, this is my 92 millimeter stowaway refractor from Astrophysics and I just received this less than two weeks ago and I've been uh, kind of getting it suited to my liking and uh, I've already done a video on get, getting rid of those locking knobs and replacing those just because I didn't need it and uh, the next thing on the agenda was some type of a carrying handle. Now this dovetail bar that you see here originally came on the bottom and this came with the 92 it's the dovetail bar SBV08 it's an 8 inch Vixen style. What I've done is replaced the 8 inch Vixen that came on the bottom and I bought the dovetail plate the SB D12 and I'm using that. Now I've attached to the 8 inch Vixen bar I've attached this guider bracket it's the base for the 10 by 60 quick release guider bracket and it's the astrophysics part number QRBASEG As you can see here, I've, I've added an extra thumb screw. It comes with two on the outside, and I added an extra one there in the center. So let's see what I came up with. Now, <clears throat> first let's take a look at the handle. When I had an 8-inch F12 D&G refractor, I bought a bunch of these to use for various things that I made up for moving the telescope, carrying it, and, and, and different things. These are very heavy duty. Um, as I recall, they were $35 a piece. So when I sold that telescope, I kept all, all these handles and took the, uh, that system that I had on off of it. And uh, <clears throat> so added to this handle for an extra grip is this piece of hose that I just slip like that and then just put that on there so obviously that gives you a nice grip if there's moisture or anything you can hold that easier now part of the secret to being able to do this came with that base the dovetail base there and being able to buy this base okay so that is uh, astrophysics number A3247-1 -A, and it is their dovetail bar it's their guide scope dovetail bar and it cost $48 Now I needed to anchor this handle to this bar. Now the center line on the handle is 6 inch. So the mounting center line, if you were going to drill a hole to attach this to something, from there to the center line on that side is 6 inches. Well this bar is 6 inches. So, and it wouldn't have lined up right. And one of the things I was not going to do was drill holes in here at all. So the simple solution was with this piece of quarter inch thick by one inch wide flat aluminum stock and um, so what I ended up doing was just figuring out you know each everybody's you know depending on the handle that you have every job will be different but I laid it out in such a way that I could attach the handle and then use the three holes that are already there that you see there's one there's two and there's three counterboard holes for a 1024 bolt and that's what you see here then is the, the three that anchor the aluminum flat stock to the dovetail bar and for the heck of it I there was just a little bit of bolt sticking up and I just put some acorn nuts on there just 
just for smoothness. May not have had to do that, but I just ended up doing that. Now, every job is going to be different depending on the kind of handle that you have. But one of the things that I had to do was being that the bolt here was going to be in the way of this bar, I used countersunk, flathead countersunk bolts, stainless steel quarter 20s, because that's what this is threaded for. And so that allowed me to put the dovetail bar on there and not be in the way. I really like this handle because for one it's just super heavy duty and look at the distance in here for your hand I mean you can actually get your hand in there and it's not in the way of anything plenty of plenty of space so that's the beauty of this now let's take a close-up look at this dovetail bar this thing is really well designed you see all those spot faces there all along the way and they're on both sides so this way it doesn't matter which way you put this on to the dovetail but what that does is that allows for these thumb screws to actually because obviously you're on a dovetail but as you can see where they're flat it allows that thumb screw to set on a flat spot Plus, once that set screw is into that spot face like that, it cannot slide. You, you have no possibility of it sliding on you. It locks it in place. And so here's your thumb screw. And you can see, let me try to get it out of the light here maybe. You can see how... And that seats in there like that, as you tighten it down, it actually sets right in there. And so that's why I added a third one, just for the heck of it. I wanted to make sure that uh, I just had that little extra bit of uh, clamping. So let's take a look at this and see how this works. So put that in there like that and then once you start one you can feel where that spot face is and now it's attached and the beauty of this is that since you have a multitude of positions you can slide this wherever you want to get your center of gravity where it balances the best and when I did this I knew that it was heavier on this end that focuser end so that's why I put this base where I did I put it towards the focuser end and um, and the beauty of this is also the way this is it's balanced it's just perfectly balanced you pick that up and it's just so nicely balanced and the safety factor which is what I wanted this for is I wanted something that I could take off I did not want it permanent and you know you, you just it's like insurance uh, at the end of the night when it's dark out moisture on stuff doesn't take but 10 seconds to put this on take it off the mount take it over to your case when I set it in the case I, I undo the thumb screws pull the handle off and I'm good to go nice and simple alright so let's see how this works 
Uh, I've got my um, uh, Lost Mandy AZ8 out as mount set up here in the garage. It is really nasty out today. Um, just windy and cold. Yesterday it was beautiful up in the uh, 70s, but uh, sure did change in one day. So now, whether it's an equatorial mount or something like this, you've got your scope. You can set it in the dovetail like that, position it where you need it. Make sure it's all secured like that. When you're ready to observe or when you're all done with that, slide the dovetail bar off. At the end of the evening, just do the opposite. Like that. And you've got control with your hand. Just like that.